How to make money on Facebook using free organic traffic. So whether you want to make money selling your own products or simply just monetizing your Facebook page, we'll be going over all of that in today's video, so stay tuned. Also, if you're new to my channel, hey, what's up? My name is Cynthia, and I teach everything related to how to make money online and Facebook marketing. So if you love videos just like this, don't forget to smash that like button and also stay subscribed to my channel for more content just like this. Now there are basically two ways that you can make money on Facebook, organic or paid traffic. Now I understand that not everyone have the budget for paid traffic and Facebook ads requires a little bit more technical skills. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how to make money organically from your Facebook page. So let me start off by saying it'll be very hard for you to make money if you're starting out with a brand new Facebook page because number one, you have a small or no following. Number two, you have not established a relationship with your audience for them to trust you enough to buy from you. So if you don't already have an established Facebook page with at least 10,000 followers or more, then I recommend that you go back to my old videos where I'll show you how to grow your Facebook fan page successfully. Now for those of you who already have an established following, I just wanna say congrats because I know how hard it is to to get your first 10,000 followers. So the question now is, Cynthia, how can I make money on Facebook or how can I monetize my page? Now, there are hundreds of ways that you can actually make money on Facebook, but in today's video, I'll be showing you my top three best ways that you can make money from your Facebook page. And the first way is using chatbots or Facebook Messenger bots. So some of you might be asking me, well, what exactly is a chatbot and how can I use it to help me make money? Facebook Messenger Chatbots is an automated messaging software that uses AI to interact with your audience. You have the ability to program the chatbot to ask certain questions and provide a few options to help your customers resolve a problem or get to a certain place. Not only can you essentially use it for anything like customer service, you can provide options for the most frequently asked questions like tracking deliveries, booking an appointment, or simply visiting your website. So Facebook have opened up their messenger platform for page admins like you and I to interact with our audience through conversations. And just like how we're able to connect with friends and family via Messenger, we can now set up automated messages to interact with our audience. And according to Statistia.com, Facebook Messenger ranks the highest amongst all mobile messaging apps. And according to Mobile Monkey, emails have 5 to 10% open rates and a 1% click through rate. This amounts to one click through per 1,000 emails. Messenger, by contrast, averages 70 to 80% open rates and 20% click through rates. So should we ditch emails and only focus on Facebook messaging? Well, in my opinion, you should actually be focusing on both because both of them work cohesively together and the business that will ultimately win is the one that can use both of these platforms in the best way. So who should be using chatbots? It's really for any businesses looking for buyers or leads. So whether you have an e-commerce site, you own an affiliate marketing business, you own a blog, you're a real estate agent, or you are a doctor's office looking for more customers, you should be using chatbots. And I know I'll be getting questions, well, Cynthia, how exactly do I set this up? There are actually tons of different chatbot softwares out there, but the best one on the market today is called ManyChat, and that's the one I'm using. You can actually use ManyChat to build your subscriber list and also send out broadcasts. And I've actually created a tutorial on how to set up a chatbot, so go back and watch this video. So right now I'm going to show you a quick overview on how this works. So the first thing you want to do is link up your chatbot with your Facebook page. So I'm currently using ManyChat. And whenever someone comes to visit your page or that they comment on any of your content, ManyChat will automatically send them a message. And in that message, you can send them a link directly to one of your products or services, or you can send them a free ebook and say, hey, in order to get this free ebook, simply enter in your email address and we will send it to you. So in that way, not only do you get them as a subscriber on your chatbot, but also you collect emails. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to send them to a thank you page. And from the thank you page, you can also um, send them to a second offer where you can make sales from there. Or 
from the thank you page, you can send them through an email sequence where you get to send them emails every single day, directing them back to your products or your services. Now, another option is since they're already a subscriber inside of your chatbot, you can also send them messages the next few days and also bring those people back to your products or services. And for the second method is through in-stream ads. Now for this method, you don't need to be selling any kind of products to make money. So one of Facebook's competitor is YouTube. And in order to compete, they have incentivized content creators like you and I to create video content for our audience. So similar to the ads that you've probably seen on this video, with Facebook, we get to add ad breaks in between our videos. And in return, they're gonna pay us a certain amount. How crazy is that? Now before you get too excited, there are a few requirements that you actually need to meet before you can monetize the videos on your Facebook page. So in order to qualify for in-stream ads, you need to have at least 10,000 followers with at least 30,000 one minute views on videos that are at least three minutes long in the past 60 days. And if you want to check to see if you're qualified for in-stream ads, simply head on over to Creator Studio and look under monetization to see whether or not you are eligible. If you're qualified, then it will say eligible under your page name. If not, it will say criteria not met and Facebook will let you know in percentages on how far you are from reaching your goal. And the next question I know I'll be getting is, how do I create these videos? I don't have any video editing skills. So, so a video editing software I like to use is called WeVideo. And if you type in your niche like cats, you can find different cat footages to put inside your video. You can also add text overlaying your videos and change out the colors um, that you see fit. Um, you can also go back and find other cat footages and then add that to your videos like I'm doing right over here. You can also add more text overlaying the second part of your video um, to talk about the five little known facts about cats. So there's so much that you can actually do. Also, WeVideo makes it super easy and simple. You can just simply drag your footages to align with your text so when it plays, it looks right. Now, if you're in the fitness niche, simply type in fitness. You can find different fitness footages and talk about the top 10 best beginner friendly exercises and then you can list them out in video format all you have to do is add in other video footages now say you're in the baking niche you can actually create a video on how to bake a cake and then you can list out all the different types of steps in this video with the different stock footages playing in the background so what i'm doing here is i'm adding new footages to my video to get to the three minute mark because in order to qualify for facebook monetization it needs to be three minutes long and so with we video you can actually see how long your video is so that you know you meet the requirement so we video is such a great software uh, i recommend that you go ahead and check it out so start by creating and posting two videos per day. Remember, you need to stay consistent with posting video content in order to meet the requirement of 30,000 one minute views in under 60 days. And the third way that you can monetize your Facebook page is by using Facebook instant articles. Facebook instant articles are native formats that provide the best mobile reading experience for your audience and tend to load four times faster than a typical website, which means you will get better engagement with your readers. And according to Facebook, Facebook users opens 44% more articles when they are published as instant articles. So other advertisers can market their products or services under your instant articles and in return, they will give you a cut. And a common question that I always get is, well, Cynthia, does that require me to have a blog? And the answer is yes. So if you already have a blog, you can start monetizing those articles. And if you don't already have a blog right now, I'm going to be showing you step-by-step -step tutorial on how to start your very first blog. So the first thing you need to do in order to sign up for instant articles is head on over to facebook.com slash instant underscore articles slash sign up. And then you want to scroll down all the way down here and you'll be able to see all the pages that you currently own. So for instant articles, some pages will be eligible and others will not. It just depends which one Facebook approves. So as you can see, for some of my pages, it says publishing tools are available for this page and other ones will say it's not eligible. So what you want to do in order to check is simply click on one of the pages right over here. And then you want to check this box and then click access instant articles. 
So now Facebook will want you to go through a set of setup process. So this seems a little bit complicated, but I promise you it's actually very simple. So the first thing they do need is to connect your site right over here, and then you're gonna have to create 10 articles. So for that, we'll need to create a blog. And the next step is to create your own blog. So what we will need is a web hosting platform like Bluehost. And in this tutorial right now, I'm gonna show you exactly how to create your blogs and articles from scratch. So the first thing that you do need is to go on over to bluehost.tbootcamp.com. You can register for Bluehost for literally $3.95 per month. It's super, super cheap to get started. So over here, just click get started. And Bluehost will give you a few pricing packages, but if you're a beginner, I would just select the basic plan for $3.95. That's enough for you to get started. And the next step, you get to set up your own domain. So right here, you can actually go ahead and create a new domain or use your own domain if you currently have one. But if you are a newbie, what I would do is I would just click this button over here that says create my domain later. So now what you want to do is enter in some of your account information, including your name, address, email address, and then you want to go ahead and select different account plans. So over here they have, you know, the 36 months, the 24 months, 12 months. So we're going to go with the cheapest one, the $3.95 per month. And then you don't need any extras. Um, I only choose the very basic package. You don't actually need any of these right over here. So after you have done filling in all information, you just enter in your payment information right over here. And then you're gonna click, I have read and agreed to the terms and service and then click submit. And now we can log inside of our WordPress account to start creating articles for our blog. Now, when you are first creating your blog, you don't need any kind of fancy themes. You can just start posting articles. So the first thing you want to come and do is come under post and then you want to select add new. So this is how you're going to be typing up your articles. Simply add in your title and some content down below. Now, for the purpose of this tutorial, I've already created my own article for this. So this is it right over here. I'm just going to copy and paste it over. So I have just pasted in the article. As you can see, there's the title and here are some of my content down below. Now, another concern that I always get is, well, Cynthia, I don't know how to write my own articles. So another thing you can do is go on to places like fiverr.com and you can literally type in blog articles right over here and you can find people who are willing to help you type up articles for your blog. So if you don't know how to write blogs or you don't have time, simply hire other people to do it. So you can see this person is charging $15, $35. Um, you can find different price ranges, $10, $25. Um, there's other expensive ones, but depending on what your needs are, you can come on over here and find people to write these articles for you. Now, usually for my articles, I don't like my articles to be very bland. I like to add some videos or photos to this. So a good place you can go on to is called pixabay.com and you can type in your niche right up at the search bar and then you can browse through hundreds of different royalty free photos that you can actually use for your blog. So I've actually selected a few of the uh, photos on here for my blog. And in order to add in photos, I simply hover over my blog and then I can click add block. I'm going to click image. So over here, you have the option to upload your image right over here. I'm going to upload it and I'll be right back. So now I've just added some photos into my blog. As you guys can see, I have good content as well as some really nice high quality photos for my blog. And then all I have to do is come up over here and then click publish. So here's a preview on how the blog article looks like. Again, you don't need any kind of fancy theme to get started. If you are a beginner, I would just use the default theme provided by WordPress. And make sure that you go out and create 10 different articles before you can apply for instant articles. And after you have created 10 articles for your blog, you can now submit your blog for Facebook's review. They need to review your site before they can approve you for instant articles. So the first thing that you need to do in order to get approved is to connect your site right over here. So right now I'm gonna show you exactly how to connect your site. 
So coming back to our WordPress account, the first thing you need to come and do is go under plugins and then click add new. Once you do that, you'll be bought to this page right over here where you get to add your plugins. So over here, we're going to simply search for the instant articles plugin. So I'm going to type in instant articles and I'm going to click install now. And then you want to activate it and then click set it up. So the next step will be to enter in the Facebook page ID. So what you want to do is come back to Facebook and you want to copy this ID right over here that Facebook provides you with. So I'm going to go ahead and copy it and come back to this page. And then I'm going to go ahead and paste it in. And then I'm going to scroll all the way down and then select save changes. And then once you have successfully installed the code inside your WordPress account, you want to come back over here and enter in your URL. So depending on what your URL is, I'm just going to type in, you know, your website over here, and then you can come back here and then click submit URL. So once you have submitted your URL for Facebook's review, they will go ahead and review your content. And over here, it says it may take 30 days or more to be delivered. So just be patient during the review process. So now I'm going to give you an overview on how this whole process works with instant articles. The first thing you want to do is head on over to facebook.com slash instant underscore articles slash sign up to make sure that your page is eligible before registering. And the second step is you need to register at bluehost.tbootcamp.com for a web hosting platform in order to create your blog. It is super cheap to get started for less than four bucks per month. You can then access your WordPress account and start writing your articles. Remember, in order to be approved for Facebook instant articles, you need to have at least 10 blog articles and a little bit of traffic rolling in before you apply. After that, you want to submit your website to Facebook for review before you can start monetizing your blog on your Facebook page. So those are the three ways that you can start making money from your Facebook page. Remember, all of this will require a lot of time and hard work. And in order to see real results, you need to take action. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate you being here. Also, if you love content just like this, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, and tap that bell notification so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video just like this. And until next time, I will see you in my next video. Live free.